Leonard Schiller, it's been forever. How are you? I can't complain. How are things over at GRB? Oh, I left there 15 years ago. I'm at Mulberry. Well, that's very impressive. A little hard work, a lot of luck. But how are you? Are you uh, still writing? As a matter of fact, I'm just putting the finishing touches on my new novel. I'd really be happy to send it over to you as soon as it's finished. Well, Leonard, I, I respect you too much to blow smoke. I mean, this business has turned into the film industry. It's all about the name. Literary novels is such a tough sell anyway. I mean, it's well, very hard to get anyone on board. I mean, to tell you the truth, most of the business we do is celebrity confessions and self-help books. Yeah, I understand. It's good to see you. You too. Hello. The trial's over. We can talk now. Yeah, we can talk. We can swear. We can do whatever we want. I want to talk about using her, putting her at the defense table like that. He's right. Well, Women look at that girl and think, home record. Except she's not a girl. She's a grown woman. OK, but Saint, what's her name? Alicia. Right, Alicia Florick. She was sitting right next to her, supporting her. I don't know. Two experts say the exact opposite thing, and they're both 100% certain. I think we should take another vote with our hands. All those in favor of not guilty. Paper down, we're not done yet. Put the booze down, you're dangerous when you're drunk. Hmm. Which seems to be all the time now, doesn't it? Who do you think you are? An angry drunk, that's the worst kind. You think you cornered the market on suffering? You think that maybe for once you could understand that my life ended six years ago? Have you ever? thought about anyone but yourself since. We lost you too. I loved her. Well, this hospital continues to survive. Fifty years after it began is, is the greatest birthday gift of all. And my hope is that it will continue to serve you long after I am no longer able to enjoy your smiles. You see, sometimes in a musical, <laughs> it's better to concentrate on one big thing rather than a lot of little things. It uh, has to make the audience much happier that way. And, uh, well, it's easier to write. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, David. You look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. You know, uh, you know who isn't fantastic? The United States labor force. Oh. I, uh, I was out in Pennsylvania. I was talking to uh, steel workers about what we need to do to turn this country around. And they all said the same thing. Washington is out of touch with the people. Now, they said, we need to find someone who can lead this country. Someone who knows what Americans want. Someone who knows what America needs. Well, David... I, I mean, I told you, I have talked this over with my wife and my kids, and I told you, if ever the day came, I would announce it here on your show. So, uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I have decided to run for the President of the United States. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Huh? <laughs> All right. I'll see you in November. Once upon a time, the world was sweeter than we knew. Everything was ours. How happy we were then. But somehow, once upon a time, never comes again.